you're interested in helping patients and working with technology, consider becoming a diagnostic medical sonographer. People in this occupation operate ultrasound equipment, recording images of body organs, masses, or even a fetus. To get a closer look at this occupation, we visited a diagnostic medical sonographer. My name is June Cotton. I'm a diagnostic medical sonographer. And what that is, is we use ultrasound, which is sound waves, to create images of soft tissue structures in the body. And those images are used to help diagnose patients' concerns. The duties and responsibilities of a sonographer are primarily to the patient. Our job is to do the best job for them. So by getting the best images possible and getting all the information possible for the doctor, we do the best service for the patient. A typical ultrasound day starts by arriving ready for work for usually around 8 o'clock and it's usually a first come first serve patient wise. You grab who's ever up next and then from there you look at what exam you're going to be doing. Then we take a look at the patient history and the patient requisition to figure out what the doctor is looking for, what answer they're looking for, why the patient is here today. After we have all of that information then we go get the patient from the waiting room or the change room and bring them into our scanning room for the exam. In the scanning room, we get them set up on the bed in the positioning that's required for that test. We choose the appropriate camera for that exam, as there are different cameras for different types of imaging. And the exam commences with just the protocol images. After the images are acquired, then we leave the room with the patient still there to go write up those images to do our own analysis. And then we present that analysis and those images to the imaging doctor or radiologist. I came to this occupation by, I was studying Bachelor of Sciences and I knew that I wanted to be in the medical field, just not sure what capacity. So after examining a whole uh, plethora of job opportunities, I stumbled across ultrasound and what drew me to that was its dynamic work environment, how it's hands-on with patients and just the type of work that it was using the anatomy, the knowledge of the body and the technical skills. Ultrasound is a 28-month program, uh, quite an intensive one when it comes to the didactic work. About 60% of it is actually spent in a clinical setting or a hospital setting working with patients under the tutelage of a sonographer. Because ultrasound is so dynamic, we find ourselves learning things, new things every day, whether that be uh, new patient care techniques, new imaging techniques, uh, new disease processes, every day present something new. When you become an ultrasound technologist, um, your career is spent in that position. Other techs have certainly gone on for teaching or manager positions, but it's primarily working with the patients. When I hire someone, what I'm interested in is their people skills, their wish to be involved in the community and to help people, uh, their wish to be involved in a profession for continuous learning, and for a flexible mind that is able to adapt to new situations and to new learning skills. Safety equipment for ultrasound is primarily in regards to infection control, so just making sure that the equipment is properly sanitized in between patients, that the bedding and whatnot is changed and wiped down um, ourselves, so we always wear gloves in between patients and make sure that there's no contamination in any way. Ultrasound itself doesn't have any radiation associated with it. Um, however, in a hospital setting, sources can certainly come from patients who've already had radiation doses. So we wear little radiation tracking badges that track our exposure, just to make sure that they're in safe limits. Ultrasound uses a basic ultrasound unit. Attached to that are a variety of cameras, and each camera has a specific use. Ultrasound is very patient orientated, so it's very important that you're good with people, that you're good in a teamwork setting, that you have compassion but also professionalism that can have you interact with patients, reassure them as needed, give necessary information and explain the exam. Um, so verbal and communication skills are very important. As an ultrasound technologist, when you're in the room with the patient, it's you, the patient, and your mind. However, when you're outside of the room, you're part of a team in that you can draw from other people's experience, whether that be fellow technologists or the radiologist. Ultrasound is uh, generally Monday to Friday, about eight to four, uh, eight hour shifts, and that's usually across the board hospital or clinic. I'm currently expecting my first child, so lately my free time has been preoccupied with preparing for that. 
Um, mostly what I've been doing is painting some wood figurines that my husband's been making on um, getting those prepared for the baby's room. They'll be up on the wall and spending a lot of my time doing that. I find ultrasound satisfying because of the benefit that we can give the patients and the teamwork environment that you get to work in. You get to be a part of something and to benefit people at the end of the day. I wouldn't be an ultrasound if it wasn't challenging. It's that challenge and that daily uh, thirst for knowledge that I strive for because every day you do learn something new. That's kind of the challenges that you look forward to and that make you a better sonographer. Ultrasound is certainly a worthwhile occupation to invest in. It does take an investment. Certainly the schooling is an investment and time that you have to take away from your life. But once you're doing this job, there's nothing like it. Choosing to be a diagnostic medical sonographer was probably one of the most rewarding choices that I've ever made. Uh, it's had huge payoffs both personally and professionally, and I couldn't have thought of a better choice. To become a diagnostic medical sonographer, you will typically need three years of post-secondary study. If the occupation of diagnostic medical sonographer interests you, there's more information available, including educational requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profiles in ALICE. You may also be interested in the related occupations of magnetic resonance technologist, radiation therapist, or respiratory therapist. Learn more on the ALICE website and make the most of your future. Visit us at alice.alberta.ca.